Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today's video is going to be all about skincare and I'm going to share my best of skincare from 2018. I was a little bit hesitant to film this video because there are so many things that I love and if I went through every single thing, this video would probably be like a few hours long. Skincare is one of my biggest passions. I've suffered a lot with my skin. So taking care of my skin and sticking to my routines, it's become like a ritual that I really look for forward to and I know that when I put in the effort into my skin it shows and that makes me happy and more calm so I did post my best of beauty about two weeks ago I think it could have been last week or two weeks ago and under that video a lot of you guys asked for a dedicated best of for skincare so I thought like okay this is a challenge for me I'm gonna go through everything that I have and that I love and I'm just gonna try to pick one product from each category and then make this video for you guys and I would say these things that I'm going to share with you guys are more of the essential products. I'm also going to mention some other kind of like extra things that could be nice if you incorporate it into your routine. But this is my like best of essentials kind of all year round favorite. In December, I did post my winter skincare routine where I talk about some products that are really good for more dry weather. So check that out if you guys want like winter specific skincare recommendations. But this video is gonna be like really my essentials for all year round. So I'm gonna go through these products in the order that I would use them. And starting with taking off my makeup. The first product is one that I just, I have to mention in every skincare video, but it's truly one of the best products when it comes to taking off your eye makeup. And this is from Earth Science. I discovered this years ago, probably 10 years ago or so at Whole Foods, but you can also get it on Amazon. So this is a more natural product. It's a gel-like consistency. You wet your face, you apply a little bit to your fingertips, and then you will just kind of massage your eyes. And you will look like a panda for a little bit, but then you just rinse it off and it's super gentle the ingredients are really good perfect for sensitive skin it does not sting your eyes whatsoever I think a baby could use this and they would be fine this is a true staple for me I've been using this for years and years and years and I think I will always repurchase this and to remove my face makeup I either like to use a balm balms are really nice especially now in the winter time if you have more dry skin they just melt your makeup off and it feels really good and very soothing as you are cleansing your skin but if I just had to pick one product it would actually be a cleansing water this is from Caudalie it's their micellar cleansing water I actually used this before I do um, the eye makeup and the ingredients in this are really good as well. It's got organic grape water, which is very moisturizing. It's also got soothing chamomile in here and it takes everything off. This is like a, a magnet for makeup. And there's just something that I really like about actually seeing the makeup come off on these cotton pads. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like in my head, but I like knowing that the makeup is actually off. I can see it. So this micellar water is my favorite, would hands down recommend it. And it's nice and natural as well and I just I also love the packaging and the palm. Moving on to one of my favorite parts of my skincare that is definitely the cleansing bit. So I do a double cleanse. So the first part of the cleanse is taking off my makeup with those products and then I really love to just deep cleanse my skin. There are a few cleansers that I love but again I just want to recommend the best of the best. One of my all-time favorite cleansers is from Kate Somerville. This is the Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser and this has got sulfur inside. And sulfur is an incredible ingredient if you have congested or breakout prone skin or more oily skin. Sulfur is an incredible ingredient that really gets deep down into the pore, cleans it out, and just leaves your skin feeling super fresh. And what I really, really like about this is that it is targeted for more breakout prone skin, but it's not at all drying in the sense that it's such a creamy texture. It's kind of like working a really delicious moisturizer into your skin, but it does foam up a little bit, which I don't mind. It really helps to keep my skin clear throughout the year. And I actually found this almost a year and a half ago and I've bought several of these bottles. So I know that it's a product that I really, really like and would highly recommend to you guys. Now with this product, I love to use an exfoliator. So I will either mix it into the product, so I'll do kind of like 50-50, or I'll just do an exfoliator by itself on a few days out of the week. This is another big, big love for me. This is from Omar Ovixa. This is the Refining Facial Polisher. Again, this is a product that has been 
been mentioned in lots of my skincare videos and that's because it's freaking awesome and the ingredients in this are amazing so it is a scrub it does have a um, kind of you know like an exfoliating texture but it's also got some fruit acids in here so it's exfoliating on a physical level but also on a chemical level so it does such a good job at exfoliating the top layer and really just lifting and getting rid of old cells that have built up and it's so important to exfoliate it doesn't mean that you have to go in and make your face like totally red but just being mindful of regularly lifting and removing the dead skin buildup that is just naturally occurring every day it's one of the best things that you can do for anti-aging and to prevent wrinkles from forming also to just stimulate collagen production because as you're exfoliating you're bringing blood flow to your face the more blood that's coming to your face the better your body can produce collagen so whether you want to invest in this one this is a little bit more pricey but it's so worth it I think the ingredients are amazing or if you just have another exfoliator that you like just make sure to use it regularly it's one of the things that really helps me a lot to maintain clear and acne free and like glowing skin is just that rejuvenation of the skin. I do have a fully dedicated video on how to really brighten the skin. And in that video, I do talk a lot about exfoliation and different techniques and methods. I will have that video linked below in case you haven't seen it already, but I delve more into exfoliation in that video. So our skin is cleansed. The next thing I like to do is apply either an essence or a toner or a facial spray. But again, if I was just to recommend like an essential product and if you do have more acne prone breakup prone kind of combination to oily skin I love to use this toner by Ole Henriksen it's the balancing force oil control toner this has got a green fusion complex of neem seed oil salicylic acid and AHAs which will again just gently exfoliate the top layer of your skin now similar with the Kate Somerville um, sulfur cleanser this product is targeted towards more acne prone skin Skin, but it's not at all over drying. It's actually quite soothing and I love the way that it feels on the skin. It does have some moisturizing properties as well so you don't feel like like tight with your skin after you use this. It just makes my skin feel super fresh and clarified and toned and just clean. Moving on to serums. I think serums are so so important to include in your skincare routine. They really pack a punch for your skin and they're just so concentrated in ingredients that you might not be able to find in a moisturizer. Moisturizers are more there to like lock everything in to prevent moisture from leaving your skin but the serums is where you really get that vitamin and that goodness. There are three different types of serums that I personally love and that I think are essential. One of them is specifically more for the nighttime but during the day you guys probably know I love a good vitamin C. Vitamin C is so so brightening for the skin it can help to even out discoloration sunspots it's just a really great vitamin to help keep the actual skin healthy and keep it producing collagen keep it looking youthful and vitamin C is actually a precursor to producing collagen so your body needs vitamin C in order to make collagen and that's also another reason why I love to start my day with lemon water if you guys have watched any of my what I ate today's you'll know that it's just part of my morning routine and one of the reasons I I do the vitamin C is for my skin. It's also great for your digestion and your overall health. This is a really nice one from Drunk Elephant. It's called the C Firma Day Serum and this has got 15% L-absorbic acid and I believe this stays active on your skin for up to 72 hours. So even after you wash this off, the vitamin C will have been absorbed by your skin and continues to work. And I absolutely love the whole Drunk Elephant range. I love that they use very clean ingredients. Plus the packaging is great it comes in an airtight pump so you don't have to actually like open anything and let oxygen inside because that can also degrade the vitamin C along with vitamin C I think using a hyaluronic acid on your skin is amazing as well and hyaluronic acid is something that will attract moisture around the air and attract it onto your skin and lock it in I was using the one from drunk elephant called the B Hydra but I came across another one from the ordinary which I think does pretty much the same thing 
but it's so much more affordable. This has 2% hyaluronic acid and it's also got vitamin B5. I've been using this the last few weeks and it works just as well as the Drunk Elephant. Super hydrating and affordable. So I would recommend this one as well. And for nighttime, the serum of choice is definitely a retinol. In 2018, I started using a prescription strength retinol, which was different. Retinol is an ingredient that goes into the skin and basically helps the cells to turn over faster so you're getting a fresher and quicker supply of new skin cells that are constantly coming to the surface and of course a big part of that is also making sure that you are exfoliating so that the new fresh skin cells can actually come up and shine and glow in their beauty I did visit my dermatologist last week and she gave me a new prescription for a slightly stronger version of the different the one that I had before was a cream and this is the gel I don't know what's available in the states if it's the cream or the gel but the gel is just a little bit stronger and I was using an oil-based retinol in December and throughout like half the month of November and that was nice because it was a little bit more moisturizing as well since it is in an oil-based formula it was the one from Strivectin called the star night repair oil I think another nice one is from Sunday Riley if you want something in an oil base and that one is called the Luna sleeping oil I also use that one for years and years and I love it but this is the bad boy right now and retinols are actually mostly known I think for anti-aging and softening any existing wrinkles and preventing them from forming in the future. But retinols can also be really good if you have more acne prone skin, more breakout prone skin, especially for the forehead area. So I know that a lot of younger people are also using retinol now to really target breakout prone, acne prone skin. So if you haven't tried a retinol already, definitely give it a go. Okay, so we're cleansed, exfoliated, we have a serum on, and the next step is a moisturizer to make sure that you're locking everything in. For the first part of the year, I was using the Sunday Riley water cream, or was it, I think it was like the water enzyme cream, something like that. I showed it in a bunch of my videos and in my vlogs. Really, really loved that cream. Another one that I fell in love with kind of throughout the second part of the year is the Proteini Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. I love this cream so, so much. This is my second jar. The consistency is beautiful and it really deeply moisturizes my skin but it doesn't leave it oily or feeling too heavy and like clogged. I love to mix in my moisturizers with an oil if my skin is feeling a little bit more on the dry side, especially now during the winter time as well. And there's lots of great facial oils. This is one though that I really love from Vintner's Daughter. It's the Active Botanical Serum. This is a beautiful oil with lots of different actives and just pure, pure ingredients. And it's just delicious heaven on your skin. But you can definitely use other facial oils that are not that expensive like a rosehip seed oil or a jojoba oil. So that's my routine. And then a few times in the week, I will also do face masks and different treatments. I quickly want to mention my favorite face mask, which has been a favorite also for years and years. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. It's got 10% maximum strength sulfur. It's also got kaolin clays and bentonite clays, which are very detoxing and purifying for the skin. It also helps to absorb excess oil, and it really goes deep down into the pore to cleanse it. Even if I'm feeling really Really crappy and down about my skin if I'm having like a moment this always helps me a lot another treatment that I really like is from goop and it is the exfoliating instant facial this is a very intense treatment you just leave it on for about three minutes and it will really exfoliate the top layer of your skin I believe this could be quite similar to the drunk elephant baby facial I haven't tried that one yet but from what I've heard I believe this is quite similar it really does brighten the skin and leave it really really soft and very clear and along with the chemical exfoliants that it has in here it's also got a little bit of a physical exfoliant as well so when you're taking this mask off you can like rub it into your skin Skin as you're taking it off but do be careful though because it is strong but it does really really work as we're talking about skin I just quickly want to mention the supplements that I take I have talked about this in a few other videos but I think they're so important if you have more sensitive acne prone oily skin and the ones that I feel like have helped me the most are definitely zinc I've been taking zinc for years and years and years and when I'm consistent with it I really see a difference in my skin another one that I really love is from Viridian this 
this is called the clear skin complex this is kind of like a multivitamin for your skin so it does have zinc in here as well it's also got burdock root and a good mix of different probiotics for your digestive system and your digestion has a huge impact on your skin so it's really important to take care of that as well and then the third one that I take is vitamin A vitamin A is really good for the skin retinol is actually vitamin A so I I take it um, internally as well but I find when I'm consistent with taking my supplements I really see it in my skin and it's just a lot more manageable it's less oily I get less breakouts so I definitely just wanted to quickly mention these as well and along with that of course making sure to drink lots of water stay hydrated eating really good fresh whole foods as well trying to get in lots of greens either in salads or smoothies or juices that is so amazing for your skin I will make sure to link a few of my other skincare related videos down below in the description box if you guys want to hear more about my product recommendations and also lifestyle recommendations I will have those videos linked Below. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video, found it helpful. I would love to know what are some of your favorite skincare products from 2018? What are you really loving? You guys have given me some great recommendations for skincare products in the past. So keep them coming. Let me know what you're really loving. And yeah, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys.